I love traveling. Certain parts of traveling I don't like. I don't like staying in lots of different hotels. I'm very OCD. Like, super OCD. Like, I, like some people are like, oh, we're staying in lovely posh hotels all around the world. For me, I'm like, I'm sleeping on a bed that 7,000 people have slept on. <laughs> like, I travel with my own bed sheets, pillow and pillowcase, special slippers that I only wear in hotel rooms. I don't wear them in my own house because I don't want hotel carpet to contaminate my carpet. I don't even use their towels. Their towels are a pathway from my bed to the bathroom on the floor. I put the towels on the floor and I walk along the towels. So if you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, you know that a couple of weeks ago I posted a picture of a towel that I got in the Premier Inn, right? Yeah, that's how I roll. I, yeah, man, I'm living large, Premier Inn, yeah. They gave me this towel and it had a suspicious brown mark. Yeah, they look very much like a skid mark. So I posted it on my Instagram to Premier Inn. And I was like, look at this Premier Inn. This is why I don't use your towels. And I know you didn't give this shit to Lenny Henry. I touched nothing in a hotel room. I've seen too many of those TV shows where they go, we went into a hotel room and we took a swab off the mattress and we found black skin, feces and semen from a giraffe. <laughs> I touched nothing. And my fans know about my OCD, so they send me stuff on Facebook and stuff to torture me. Like one woman a while back sent me a video of an investigation that they'd done in America. American TV company did this investigation. They put a hidden camera in the bathroom of this hotel to see how well the maids cleaned the hotel. They left the camera there and the maid comes in with her one cloth. <laughs> she cleans the mirror. She cleans down the side. She cleans the toilet seat. She lifts up the toilet seat. She cleans round the rim of the toilet. And then she picks up the drinking glasses. Yes, the drinking glasses and cleans out the inside of the drinking glasses with the same cloth. That's why I don't touch shit in a hotel room. When I go to the hotel room, I clean down everything. I have my wipes, I wipe down the door handles. I, I, I wipe the light switches, the phone, I don't touch anything. People, people like to traumatize me with their stories. Someone else told me the story of in, in certain poorer countries, toothbrushes are a bit of a luxury. So sometimes when the maid is cleaning your room and she sees a toothbrush lying there, they'll be like, oh, I haven't brushed my teeth in a month. Let's give this a go. <laughs> yeah, and they use your toothbrush. Now when I heard that story, I did not sleep for three days. Because <laughs> I'd just come off a two month tour of Asia and there was one particular night in China, I was like, oh, I didn't have chow mein today. Why does my toothbrush <laughs> taste like chow mein? I have to now lock my toothbrush in my safe with my passport and my cash. Who knew the Oral B would be more valuable than money? I don't touch nothing in the hotel room. I don't even touch the TV remote control. I don't touch it. It's the filthiest part of the room, people. The TV remote, I wrap it in a shower cap, that's what I do. <laughs> I'll tell you why, because a very large percentage of people that stay in a hotel and motel are single men traveling alone. Yeah, and what do single men do when they're alone? All alone, all alone in a hotel room. What do you do, Liam, when you're all alone? All, look at me, Liam, don't lie. What do you do when you're all alone in a hotel room with no wifey, no wifey, you and your 10 chubby little fingers alone? You know what you're doing, Liam. You're watching porn and you're having a wank. That's right, you're jerking off, as the Americans say, and you're holding your penis in one hand and the remote control in the other. Now, I don't know whether it's ambidextrous. I don't know, do you like, Aah! I don't know, Liam, but I'll tell you what I do know. I'm not going to become the first woman in the world to become pregnant from a remote control. 
Now some of you are looking at me funny. I'm not saying I put them inside me. But accidents do happen, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> My mum would be so happy if I got pregnant from a remote control anyway. My mum would be like, oh, look at my little remote control grandchild, look at that. You know what, I am going to call you Netflix. <laughs> Listen, you guys have been amazing. Brixton Academy, yes Brixton. <laughs> <laughs>